Coding is hard, but there are steps that you will take that can make the whole process a lot easier for you. I'm a front-end developer and a technical writer, and I'm going to share with you steps that took my whole learning process from hard to easy. As someone from a non-technical background, please stick around to the end of this video. When I was just starting out in my journey, I used to do a lot of memorizing. I used to memorize syntax. I used to think that writing function array loop on my own without copying anywhere meant I was good. But I was wrong actually. So I stopped memorizing code and things got a lot better. I started focusing more on the logic and the problem instead of the syntax. I mean, every language you're learning, there's a syntax, but there are core concepts in programming that if you miss it, no matter the number of syntax, you know, no matter how good you are writing your code without googling it, you still not try. So the next thing that made coding a lot easier for me is that I started reading my error messages. You know, when I just started out, when I write something, but when I write a code and I try to run it in the console, then I see a bunch of errors child does not whatever 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 undefined and a lot of them i just break down i just feel like maybe i'm not actually caught for this maybe my head is empty <laughs> but when i started paying attention to those error messages a lot of things became easier because most times they reflect where the error is coming from i'll also be honest with you sometimes they don't for example in javascript it might be showing line 57 whereas the error is not even close to that line but yeah, it's going to be reflecting an error that went on earlier. But the lines it's going to be showing you will not really show the place the error is coming from. So that part, I feel it's kind of inefficient. But if you pay attention to error messages, you see something like undefined. You already know how to tackle it. It has to do with your declaration, maybe the variable and all that. So when I started reading error messages, things became a lot easier for me. Another thing that was a game changer for me in my journey is that i learned how to break things down i learned how to break problems down like if you give me a project now to build i won't just rush and start writing code that's not the first thing i learned how to break things into small small pieces and when i'm about to build something i know the first thing i should tackle before the next one you know that planning it looks small but it's going to make a lot of things much easier for you you are going to even know how to write your functions and make things a lot scalable and this is something i would appreciate if every one of us started doing the next thing i'm going to tell you for free is that you should focus on one thing you see in this programming space people are going to oppress you <laughs> You are going to be oppressed when you go on social media. You've seen people we did this AI model, we did this machine learning, this one, we built an inventory system. There are a lot of things that are going to make you feel like, oh, I don't know nothing. But you should learn to focus on that thing you're doing. There's this temptation to jump from this to this to this to this. And this is something I'll tell you that immediately I focused on that thing I'm learning, which is JavaScript, and focusing on one concept at a time. Things became a lot easier for me. Then the next thing I'm going to talk about in this video is that you should build projects you actually care about. If you don't like cooking, don't build a cooking game, please. Because you know, there's this pushing that when you are doing something you like that, no matter how much you want to give up, you're going to try to figure this out so that you can at least brag, oh, I built this because I like this. So passion has a way of foiling your growth in coding. So whatever project you are building, try to build projects that you actually care about. The next thing is that I learned how to ask questions. This question is not just about asking people questions to help you, but also asking yourself questions while debugging. What am I trying to achieve? What is happening instead? What part of my code is breaking? You know, debugging can be tricky. It can be very tricky. When you ask the right questions, you now know how to approach it. Another thing I do is that I comment out code bit by bit. I'll try to test each bit of the code as I'm going. I test it. If it's, if it's not working, I comment it out. I if it's working instead, I comment it out until I find that particular part of the code that is causing the error. And that's by asking the right questions. So even if it's not for you now, if you want someone to help you out in the project, know how to present your problem. Know how to express yourself so that the person can even help you. The person is not a magician. You need to voice out your problem in order to get a solution. The next thing that made coding easier for me was me realizing that coding is not you do or die. So I take breaks when necessary. Burnout is real. My people, burnout is real. So if you're doing something that is not working out, 
for a very long time especially when you are doing late night coding sessions if something is repeatedly not working out take a break sleep step out eat do something else that is going to free up your brain and most times i did these things when i come back i come back fresh and in a matter of minutes everything is going to be set everything is going to work out perfectly so please today when you face that bug, when you face that issue that seems unending step out of your system step out of your house take a walk have a little breakfast do something yeah do something that's going to make things a lot easier for you and guys we have come to the end of this video do you think any of these things can even make coding journey a lot easier let me know in the comment section please like comment and share my video brother please comment so i'll go ahead and complete my channel subscribe to my channel if you love my content thank you and see you in another video bye